good morning welcome to my youtube channel so we're looking at a Toyota prius 2012 it has had some uh, suspension noise we change the board joints the noise will not stop every time we put a new drop ring the noise will stop a little bit then it will start it to come back again uh we checked suspension arms they all looked very good but this week we decided to change the suspension arms and we went up we went and bought an, a new one we also had to investigate where the noise was coming from on investigation on investigating we find that where the screw goes inside here it was very shine it was very very shine meaning that the screw was moving sideways and that was a noise so this one was very very shine i don't think you can i don't know i don't think you can see it but it was very very shiny inside meaning that the screw was moving sideways uh the other the other one was okay so the conclusion was that the screw when this suspension arm was uh, was fitted or when it was changed actually um it, the screw was not tight enough hence it kept on moving hence the, the suspension arm was moving sideways when driving and would make a very very horrible noise so the lesson is when you're doing suspension now make sure you over tighten tighten to to the required torque the screws that go through the suspension on this one so this suspension arm is still very good we will keep it actually what else right also let me just tell you about replacing suspension arm on a total prayers so what you need to do is underneath there are two screws that uh that are for the uh uh, engine mount a uh, gearbox mount you need to 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 make them loose then you also need to come on top and remove the screws for the for the mounting there are three of them one two three before you move that one you need to remove the exp uh, coolant expansion bottle after you have removed them you need to jack, jack the engine up so that's one way you can move the suspension arm well, there's, this, there's, a throw, there's this through screw that literally um, is uh, blocked by the oil filter so you need to engine, lift your engine up what else? ideally you should also release both sides the drop rings release the both sides the drop rings uh, what else? you may want to remove a drive shaft but it's not necessary if you can just release both drop rings and do the board joint screws then try to jack the the uh, the hub up. Then you should be able to remove the suspension the suspension arm easily. But if you do remove the uh, drive shaft, just just remove it off and remove the shock absorber screw, uh, it becomes very very easy to do. Because to put in the suspension arm, it does need to be stretched like this. So if it's like this, it will not go in. If it's like this, it will not go. Basically, if it's like this, it will not go in. It does need to be level when then it goes in uh, very easy if it's not level. Actually, this way. So it does need to be level, and to get it level means that you may need to remove the drive shaft and remove the shock absorber screws and uh, remove the uh, the board joint. Then just uh, lift up the hub and to give it space, and also release both sides the uh, drop rings. And in that way, it goes it very very easy. Otherwise, you're gonna struggle. Okay, guys, if you do like my video, as usual, I ask for a subscription plus like. Of course, if you don't like my video, feel free to leave a comment, but please do not dislike. Thank you.